Tropical Storm Troy 1 has made landfall over in the Philippines with a current location of 11.9 degrees north and 125.4 degrees east. It is currently ha has winds of 40 miles an hour, central pressure of 999 millibars. Storm is moving northwest or a compass bearing of 330 at 13 miles an hour and it is a sta stage 2 on the CDPS scale. Breaking down that stage 2, we have a wind speed of just above low, storm size of just underneath moderate, rainfall potential being the significant factor of just over major. Stage 2, whilst being a low score, still does mean that significant damage is possible for the residents of Taf in Eastern Samar right now. Onto the wind fields, we have 55 over for the entire northern side of the storm and 50 for the southern side of the storm. Now, I do want to reiterate, this is happening right now. Uh, stage 2 impacts are being felt. There's the uh, signal warnings, quite a lot of signal 2 if you'd like to pause the video to have a closer look. Uh, distances and miles, we are 1 mile away from Taf, 6 from Sulat, 11 from Dolores and San Julian, and 19 from Panaras. That's 2 kilometers away from Taf, 9 from Sulat, 18 from Dolores and San Julian, San Julian, excuse me, and 30 from Panaras. Here's the poem from the JTWC. Now the storm has made landfall in TAF, so I'm not sure how reliable this is, but it, the storm will continue to make landfalls along the Philippines before making a north turn and then a northeastern turn. Here's the windswath from H Wharf. You can see tropical storm uh, force winds uh, impacted for the uh, part of the Philippines there. The rain we could be expecting up to at least 18 inches of rain for parts of the Philippines. Sea surface temperatures don't really matter anymore but as the storm continues to track along the Philippines it will encounter temperatures of at least 31 degrees Celsius as it heads back over sea to continue its track along the Philippines. Multimodal diagnostics, the models don't really uh, predict any more strengthening from this system. The deep layer shear is going to be on the lowdown. Uh, sea surface temperatures don't really play a factor due to the storm tracking over the Philippines. Mid-level relative humidity is also on the decline. So here's the storm's uh, latest imagery over the Philippines. The storm will continue to track uh, over the Philippines, northwesterly, northwesterly over the Philippines, excuse me. Uh, people in the path of the storm should make preparations now if they haven't done so already.